guys it's me tammy and i'm here with the review it's been a long time since i've done a review i'm super excited this is a product that i've been using for months and months and months and i know you guys have probably seen it all over youtube but i'm still going to review it because i want to give you my feedback on this and it is the rare beauty concealer i am in the color 330n um it might be a tad too dark because of quarantine you know and winter and staying inside but it's a pretty damn good First, I want to begin with the matching process. I went to the Rare Beauty website and I put in the other products um, that I've used in the past that are a good color match. So like they had a whole drop down list of, of other lines that you could compare it to, which was awesome. So basically I was able to go right into the store and pick up the color I wanted because you know you can't swatch anything right now and it, you know, you know. So I was able to get a perfect match the first time. That's never happened to me before, especially at Sephora. It happened to me in the drugstore because I'm kind of familiar with the lines, but Sephora, it never happens unless I ask someone for help. So that, the color matching is amazing. There are approximately 48 colors in this line. As, as of today, there are 48 colors in this line. Wouldn't surprise me if she adds more. This is $19. It's a pretty decent size. It says it's 0.25 ounces. I've had this for months and I really haven't made much of a dent. This is what the applicator looks like. It is a doe foot applicator. Now, this concealer is creamy. Very, very creamy. The coverage for me is medium. I will say, I love, I love, I love this concealer. I love it. It's amazing. I love how easily it blends, even though it's a little, like it's a pretty wet concealer, which I'm not exactly used to, but I like it, especially now for winter, but it dries down to like a really nice, like, like it looks like your real skin when it dries down. It, you don't look powdery or cakey, and it doesn't still look wet once it actually dries down, which is awesome. Um, I find that this is amazing for days that I am just in a rush because I can just do like dot dot and just whoo, and go and I feel like my other concealers are not like that like you really have to be careful with the pre precision of it um it could also be because it's a very good color match so I can kind of be a little sloppy uh I am going to get a little closer so you guys can see I've been wearing it for a little while I do not have any powder on I think if you have oily skin or if you have anything going on underneath your eyes, you know, like wrinkles, bags, whatever. Um, you should probably set it with just a little bit of powder to make sure that it doesn't fade. But I really haven't, can't say I've seen a lot of issues with fading. But I have seen issues with creasing on this. But if I powder it, absolutely no problems. For the price and for the color match that you can get. This is such a win. And also what I love about this brand is um, it's it's a brightening concealer, but it is free of oh, all of the junk. Like it's actually a pretty clean concealer. I mean, obviously this is, I don't think this is under the clean section in Sephora, is it? Nope, it doesn't have the clean label, but that's okay. Um, but it's free of sulfates, it's free of so many things, free of mineral oil. So it's free of a lot of things that can be very oil clogging or just bad for your skin. So if you've been on the fence about this concealer, I cannot recommend any, like any more. It's my, I'm looking around, I'm like, do I use another concealer? I do not use another concealer. I haven't used another concealer in months. And that is, that says a lot for me because I feel like concealer is always a thing I'm buying the most. Like to try out new ones, concealers and mascaras. And I haven't bought a new concealer since I bought this. And this was months ago. So if you've been on the fence about this, give it a try. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.